summer has arrived and it's getting pretty hot so in this video i'll be designing and printing samples for my summer baseball hat drop keep in mind that the hats are samples so they are not perfect if you want to know how to create cool and low cost product photos and promotional videos like the one that you saw in the intro stick around let's start the first thing I'm going to do is to design briefly the outline and graphic we will need to print on the hat and decide the colors of the dyed pattern that we're going to apply with the different colors. In this case I want to print the partial version of my logo so basically the word in my profile picture and add on the side or back the full length version. I will make in total 4 hats using different tie dye colors and printing techniques. Now that we have a brief idea of what to do, let's start dyeing the hats as we prefer and want. I will use white hats for the tie-dye pattern since the dyeing technique doesn't work really good on the dark textiles. For the first hat, I'm using three main colors, purple, dark blue and red. Just for the video purpose, I decided to dye the hat in my studio, but I would recommend doing it in a bathroom and remember to use gloves, because I can assure you that the color will remain for a couple of days on your hands. I decided to color the hat from the top to create a sort of rain effect. Ok now that I finish it all, I'll add a ball under the hat to maintain the shape. Now I'm starting making the second hat that will be done, printed and dyed on a black hat using two colors, red and yellow. That will be not that much visible but they will add a nice touch to the hat. After finishing the hat, I will start uh, making the third one using light green and brown. Ok now that we have finished all the hats, let's take the measurements of the logo that will be attached using a heat press and a vinyl cutter. The measurements of the design are measured in squares of the cutting mat. Now that we have all the measurements, let's start importing the graphics and adjusting them in the vinyl cutting software. It's time to get the measurements of the virtual cutting mat on the computer and adding the vinyl to the real mat to match the dimensions on the software. Let's start by placing the white vinyl since it's the one that will be used more and of course after we can cut the black vinyl. After I loaded the media in the vinyl cutter and weeded the, the excess vinyl. While having the weeded vinyl over the hat, I noticed that the front logo was too big and too much in my opinion. So I decided to use only the middle part of the side design that fitted perfectly in my opinion the hat canvas. So I will use only the mind in the Global Mind Studios side text that I printed.
Time to get the design heat pressed on the head. It was all good until my head machine broke, so I decided to use the bottom press part with my t-shirt press in the way that you're watching now. But unfortunately, there was not enough pressure applied to the vinyl, so it didn't work. Fortunately, they are only samples, so when they will actually drop, the problem will be solved. The next day, I decided to try another technique using a stencil and a spray paint, but it didn't work as planned. Now that I'm reflecting on it, I think that I messed up the distance from the stencil because I applied the paint super close to the stencil, so the stencil didn't work and made the excess paint go under the stencil. Here are some photos of the final dyed and dried heads. Oh, and in two weeks time I will be releasing a tutorial on how to make a photo shoot and promotional video with low budget, including the creation of all the images seen now and in the intro of the video. If you want to check them out, stick around, subscribe, see you in two weeks time.